So once we've got all of our wax onto the fabric of choice, we come in here and we dip it in cold water. And then we put it over here for this process for about 10 minutes where we swirl it around, pick it up, kind of move the fabric around again, put it back down, swirl it around until we get the desired color, which in our, I guess we're, we're shooting for the deep indigo. How's it going guys? Good, good. Ah, looks great. Here we go again. You guys know the drill. This was taped a while ago before the situation became the magnitude it is currently in the world with the virus. We're really appreciative for everyone who's becoming an essential worker who's out there still putting yes. themselves on the front lines. And our hearts go out to you guys because without you, we couldn't do this life that we're still living now in social isolation. So thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. And all those parents at home, home educating that got thrown into it. Wow. You no, know, it's super hard. So. We're still back in Japan <laughs> and uh, we'll be here for a while, but in the meantime, check out this vlog. I think you'll like it. Our family has been in Japan for a little more than two weeks now, and it finally seems like we're getting into the swing of things. Actually, so you guys figured out what you want? I actually don't think I want something. What? I just don't think something this big is worth $3. You can keep your money, Dad. I'm good. I'll save it for bubble tea later. I can probably get a bubble tea for $3. In the limited time that we have been here, food has been the cornerstone of all discoveries so far. As much as most of us would say that food is the ultimate travel adventure, there are, reluctantly, other things to do. Give me this and an egg sandwich from 7-Eleven. I'm a happy girl. Anyway, today we are taking a break from stuffing our stomachs. We are going to dive headfirst into a traditional Japanese method of dyeing fabric which has existed for centuries. Join us as we get our creative juices flowing and create items that we will cherish forever. All right, we're starting off our Sunday, and we have something pretty creative we're doing today. It's called Roketsuzome, and it's basically printing on um, on pa paper and cloth and stuff. With what are we printing? With with? wax. With wax. So we've never done anything like this before. I, I wonder if it's going to be like our India experience when we were block printing, I like think something so. unique and traditional. Are you excited? Yes. All right. Cool. <gasps> oh. All right, so where we are right now is Roksu dying. Roketsuzome. Okay, say it again. Roketsuzome. Uh. Yeah, what we have right here, and essentially this is a typical style uh, of dyeing of fabric. It also, it's also called like indigo fabric dyeing, and what happens here is the following. You you get a piece of fabric and you mat and you douse it in wax. So we put our design underneath the white paper, and then we touch the hot wax. This is very hot, so be careful. In whatever type of configuration you want to get whatever style of design that you want. It feels almost like when you're at a carnival and there's a places that do the custom dyed t-shirts, like saying, um, all, I went, all I did was go to this carnival and got this lousy t-shirt. Well, this is a little bit different because this is not a lousy design. This is yeah, traditional Japanese culture. Mm -hmm. And we can make these things into just about anything. We can make them into a t-shirt. We can make it into a curtain. There's this type of, it's like a banner. This is, I don't know what you would do with this. You just let it hang and sort of let it be decorative. And the experience is sort of what we're all talking about here because like, the way they do it is super interesting. Oh my gosh, Laura, they have to put a row. Probably the best animated movie that's ever been made. Oh, Dad, you do not want to make that statement. The anime community will come after you for blood. And eventually you're going to go ahead and put this all into indigo. And what's left behind is that the entire fabric is going to be an indigo except for what you have on the wax applications. Put it, dye it, please. Okay, so then we dye the fabric after? Yeah, yeah. after awesome. you put the wax on, you dye the fabric, and then the dye does not touch the part where there's wax. Because it's, it's wax. It's wax, and it won't yeah. go to it. Okay, that makes sense. What you're gonna have is, is just something that is magnificent, that is truly authentic, and this is the only place in all of Japan that you can have this type of experience. So we consider ourselves 100% fortunate that we've been able to, to sort of have these people close by so that we can learn this style of, of, of tapestry making, of artistry, of t-shirt making, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, it's really interesting. Um, what are you thinking about? Well, I don't, I'm honestly overwhelmed right now about what to pick, but I found one here that's an iris, so maybe I can make one for my mom as a gift. 
but then if I make one for my mom, she's gonna know what she's getting. I'm not making one for mom. Granted, these look amazing. However, the thought that you can jump in and get these things right with the right pen tip and the right type of application because a fine line versus a thick line is like very different on these things. And it's all done with one type of brush. So they give you a, a test run, which uh, we're finding to be very uh, I'm scared. You gonna practice? I'm gonna practice. He obviously knew I needed some practice. <laughs> Listen, just because you failed your art class when you were in the third grade doesn't mean that you need practice now. I can do this. I can do this. Oh my god, well this is really hard. <gasps> this is a story of my life, always biting off more than I can chew. Okay. We wouldn't be in Japan right now if we didn't do that. You know that. I think I should have picked something easier. One, two, three, start on. Now I thought you had taken me. One, two, three. Three simple words that give direction. It's so rhythmic and hypnotic. While we were making our creations, we were almost in a transitive state as we moved from one brush stroke to the next. All dipping, one, two, three. Top only dipping, no, all dipping, one, two, three. Then this black line, hot to the quick drawing. The Japanese have a firm handle on knowing when to slow things down and totally become immersed in the moment. Mine has a lot of lines in it. Mine doesn't really. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you help me with mine when I you're done. I chose a simple design. Mm -hmm. the During our time here, this was the portion of the experience that was most appreciated. Okay, this is super relaxing and very zen. I mean, you should be careful you don't burn yourself with the hot wax, which I haven't done yet. Um, it's a great way to spend a Sunday. I'm a little stressed just because I'm trying to do it well and I don't want to like go outside the lines and all that kind of stuff. However, this is exactly what we were looking for when we thought we'd be doing more traditional stuff in Japan. And I can't imagine any other experience being more zen than this besides someone maybe feeding me sushi. Well. Um. Our sushi place isn't that far away. And what they also have here is that if you don't have time to create your own product, they sell items that are already pre-packaged and pre-made. So, you know, for for less than the cost that it is to have the experience because clearly the time, effort, and training comes into play here. But you can buy something that is traditional and you can take home with you. And quite frankly, it's, it's quite beautiful. Margo, I love the fact that you're creating your, your own personalized design and you're, you're even signing it. What? What are you going to do with this? Are you going to take it home with you or are you going to... I don't know. Maybe sell it on auction? <laughs> Dad, if I sell this on auction, it'll probably sell for five bucks. Hey. You paid, no you paid 30 it's for it, so it should be that, that much. It's a world towning limited edition Largo. And, and look at yours, my goodness. Mine's going for 575. <laughs> <laughs> Check her out, she's helping out these, these kids over here, trying to get them into a different line of mode here. Well, when you went to the bathroom, she came to look at mine to switch me over to my next one and she started laughing at it. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but now I'm really self-conscious. You know what? Has she gone ahead and walked the Camino? <laughs> she lived in an RV. She's probably had a pretty hard life. So I'll let her laugh at my artwork. I think it was, I think it was a joy, like joyous laughter. Like she was really proud of my work and I almost, she, I felt like a daughter to her. Mm. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait till it's is, indigo. Is that, is that a uh, self-portrait? It's a self-portrait, exactly. Exactly. Well, wait. I'd be honored. <laughs> now I wait for Avalon. Largo and I chose to decorate traditional Japanese norens, which are doorway curtains, and Avalon decorated a t-shirt. As far as Will, well, he was in his element recording the experience. How cute is this? So it's mom and son, right? So, 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 so. Oh, your mom is so good. How cute is a family business. <gasps> wow, she's really good. No wonder she's laughing at mine. <laughs> you know, she's judging you. She's, she's, like, she's, she's like, let me show you how it's done. She stepped up to say, listen here, lady. I have been doing this forever. <laughs> you can't step onto my turf. She's fast and precise and has a steady hand. Wow. 
Maybe Don't look, Avalon. You'll get discouraged. <laughs> Maybe you'll be doing that when you're older. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'll get that good, huh? One could only aspire. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking at mine and hers and laughing? No, I'm not getting it. <laughs> so these big rollers, which I don't think they use anymore, but we have a bit of a language barrier, so I'm trying to figure it out. But they were used like for this and they roll it out for the fabric. And so where you see the cream <laughs> color, that's where the wax was. Well, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And there's like hundreds of different patterns right up there. Oh, they're so cool. I'd love to see one of these in action. So what do you think the hardest part of this whole process is? Making super fine lines and like make sure they don't all bleed together. Yours is really, really good. I don't want to talk to you because I don't want to add extra pressure, but your lines are great. I should have had you, you done, you, I should have had you done my uh, geisha's head. The lady over here already um, is on her second page. Logo, it's not a competition. Except it is when one <laughs> involves. <laughs> this is really good, Avalon. Win. I wonder if you could Oh boy. Here. He looked at, he gave So some now that we're done with the initial of the, of the laying out of the wax, it's time to put some color on these items. Uh, this is gonna be like intense hardcore. Look at this. We've got <laughs> all of the aprons, the industrial strength boots and gloves. I don't think we're gonna leave oh. indigo color. <laughs> Listen, the last thing we wanna do is, is have ourselves sort of painted blue. We're gonna be the blue man group. Oh my gosh. That's, that's gonna be us. The blue family. Well, look at this. Okay, so the first step is we get them wet. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That's all blue indigo. Oh, he dropped a stick in there. <laughs> Hope he's got gloves. Okay. Drop it in. Wow. Oh, look at that go. Okay, okay. so the match slowly cracks. We push it down, we bring it up. We can see it getting even a little more indigo. Is that your one? Wait, watch this. It's all blue, and now the blue color. Oh, Black. Blue and black. The water's having way too much fun with this. <laughs> yes, I am. And then eventually it's time to take off all the garb because all of our indigo process is over. Any 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 residue? Okay. Any hands? Largo has some, I think. But really? I don't. I'm no, I don't. Oh, Largo. <laughs> Largo, you have a blue mustache. I did. did you touch right here? <laughs> I did. It goes like oh this, like God. Dali. You it lie. Curls up. Largo. You lie. <laughs> oh, he's going to take it out now. Let's see what's going on now. Yeah. Mitchell. When it was time to end the dyeing process, which was about 15 minutes, the excess dye was rinsed and hung out to let the water drip out. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I know. Pretty proud of yourself? Yep. That's pretty nice. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that? I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's funny. really good at this. You see, the entire time we were actually we were out there joking. Alan was taking it seriously. And right. Look what happens? You know what? I think we should make shirts for this and sell World Towning custom shirts. Look that means these. we have to stay in Japan. This would take us months. Then it was time to get them ready to package. And that meant doing something that we literally hadn't thought about since we started full-time travel. And now we are going to the ironing station. And Mama's going to help iron, I guess. Or maybe Largo's going to iron it. But no, Largo better be ironing. Listen, Largo, you got life skills you got to learn here. I can't believe this is not a skill that we taught you, but I just don't feel like it's I can't a... believe we actually, you know why? Because we're smart. We don't own anything that needs ironing. Exactly. Does that feel good? Yes. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Largo's <I'm> getting schooled. Mother should see me. You know, the... You're enjoying it. I'm she, so she's going to laugh at you next, you realize that. I'm not ironing. Yes, you, you know are. what I love is that our kids are super excited to iron. It's like how we were super excited to put clothes on a clothesline. Right? You realize at this point, we can't give this to anyone though. This is a labor of love because only, it's like like the type of work that only a mother can love. <laughs> Maybe I should give it to my mother then. Mom. And Avon Laura can give theirs to me, yes? We've had so many different experiences with Woo, different companies and individuals done. throughout our travels. Is it done? Yeah. Yay! 
He has such a love for it and there's an incredible attention to detail within the space, within the product they're producing. They know their steps, their processes, they add little touches. If something isn't quite right, they help you fix it. Um, and these are the type of companies that we love to have experiences with. It's a family run business, which is fabulous. Look at you little boy. It's cute though. Yeah. I love the bow. Again, attention to detail. That little extra touch really makes a difference. Oh, I love it. Yay. Woo. And with that, we are leaving Roketsu. Avon says, Ro it, Avon says it much better. I have no idea. <laughs> that was a fabulous way to spend our Sunday afternoon. And look what we got, guys. We got some really cool treats for the patrons. We got goodie bags. Who receive our monthly package. So we have to say, honestly, one of the coolest experiences that we ever had in It Japan. was really amazing. If you're coming to Japan anytime soon, their tourism industry has been hit like every place else in the world. Come here, come support this local business. They were adorable, they were sweet. We didn't speak the language, but we still managed. And they we had got a smile a great... on their face the entire time. They did, they yeah. did. So with that, we gotta take off. So we'll see you guys next time and- um, Subscribe! Yeah, if you're in Kyoto, check them out because it's worth it, worth the effort. Okay, bye. bye. Which is fabulous. Look at the um, detail on yours. Look at that. That is. I'm a natural, Will. I'm I, natural. I'm so impressed. Very. <laughs> I love trying new stuff. Done. Look, Totoro, Totoro. Dad, I think you're going to get a copyright strike for that. No, I'm not. It's my, my artist rendition uh, of it, it's artistic license.